Glory to your mighty name. Father God, we give you all the glory, all the praise, and all the praise today. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come to you today right now and just say thank you, Lord. Lord, we love you and we honor you. We magnify you. We lift you up in the precious name of Jesus Christ. In the precious name of Jesus, we magnify you. We praise you. We honor you and we lift you up in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen, amen, and amen. Good evening, everybody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm happy to see you all those on Zoom and Facebook and Twitter. Hallelujah. Glory to God in YouTube. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. This is the Heart of David International Ministry. I am your pastor, Dr. Mark Dean. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you. God is good. I just want to tell you, God is good. God loves you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Before we get into our prayer, because this is our corporate prayer slash midweek service, I want, hallelujah, let me go ahead and pray again. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just worship you in spirit and in truth. We worship you with great joy and great excitement. We worship you with great expectation in the name Jesus Christ, in the wonderful, mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We glorify you and we praise you on today, Lord. Lord Jesus, we lift you up and we magnify your holy name. I said we magnify your name. Hallelujah. We do ask that you like, subscribe, and share on social media, on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Instagram. Hallelujah. Also, like, we ask that you like, subscribe, and share. Our email is hodim1117 at gmail.com. That is H-O-D-I-M, 1117 at gmail.com. We also, uh, our website is H-O-D-I-M dot org. That is H-O-D-I-M dot org. If you want to sow a seed into the uh, ministry, thank you. God bless you. You can follow the instruction on our uh, YouTube um, on our website or on our Facebook page. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Hmm. Our subject today, oh, I forgot to tell you. I did write this book. It's called The Power of Your Prayer. Hallelujah. The Power of Your Prayer. This does not take the place of the Bible. It's not that. Hopefully, it can encourage you. Hallelujah. It could be a, a side note. Glory to your mighty name. But you have to have power in your own prayer. <clears throat> we can't always get to, um, to our pastor or our apostle or our bishop or our missionary. Sometimes we can't get to our prayer partner. Hallelujah. Sometimes married couples can't even connect. They could be in a different place, you know, physically, or they're trying to call and, and they can't do it. You got to know that the power of your prayers work. <clears throat> You've been living right. You've been serving the Lord. You've been doing the best that you can according to the Bible, according to the word of God. You have power in your prayer. Hallelujah. 
Your prayer should be able to move mountains as well. Glory to God. I'm not going to uh, get into it uh, that much, but you can um, go to Amazon. Hallelujah. And, and punch in the name of the book, The Power of Your Prayer, or you can punch in uh, Pastor Dr. Mark Christian Dean the first, and that book will come up, I believe. Hallelujah. It'll edify your spirit. I believe it's going to encourage you in the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, Father God, we pray for everyone who ordered this book, that the book and everyone that they read it, Father, that it be an encouragement to them and to the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. I want to talk to you today. <clears throat> I don't know if I should pray or give you the word first. So the subject is, I want Christ Jesus on the inside of me. I want the I want Christ Jesus on the inside of me every day. Hallelujah. Every day, all day. So I want Christ Jesus on the inside of me every day. Every day, I want to be in the presence of the Lord. Every day, I want to live right. Every day, I want to talk right. Every day, I want my eye gate clean. Every day, I want my ear gate clean. I want my mouth clean, my tongue clean. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want my spirit clean every day. I want Christ Jesus on the inside of me every day. Hey, glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Let's go on over to uh, Galatians. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 2. Gentlemen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. What did I say? Galatians chapter 2. <clears throat> Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. Hallelujah. And it says this. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. See, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So we understand that, right? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He says, I am, this is uh, Galatians 2 and 20. I am crucified for Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, mm. but Christ liveth in me. Not I, but Christ liveth in me. Glory to God. And the life which I now live, in the flesh I live by the faith of the Son of God. Now that I'm saved, glory to God. Hallelujah. Even though I'm still living in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. My faith, hallelujah, keeps me. Hallelujah. My faith keeps me in the word. My faith keeps me living right. Glory to God. My faith keeping me strong in Christ Jesus. Even though I might be in the flesh, I know my flesh and the spirit war daily, but I'm living for Christ, even in my flesh, to the best of my ability. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he said, and the light which now I live in the flesh. I live by the flesh, by the faith 
of the Son of God. I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Come here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Lord. Let's go to verse 21. I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness comes by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Hallelujah. Sit down. Not too loud. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So understand something. Even though I'm in the in my flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. My faith is what keeps me. My faith continues, hallelujah, to hunger and thirst of the righteousness so I can be filled. Glory to your mighty name. Let's go on over there real quick. Let's go to Matthew 5. Glory to your mighty name. Matthew 5, <clears throat> verse 6. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Hallelujah. Let's read that again. Matthew chapter 5, verse 6. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. See, I'm on a hunger and thirst after righteousness, so I can be filled. Glory to your mighty name. I said, so I can be filled. I'm going to hunger and thirst after righteousness, so I can be filled. Hallelujah. Remember the subject. I want Christ Jesus on the inside of me every day. Every day I want Christ Jesus on the inside of me. Every day I want to praise and worship God. Every day I'm going to seek God's face on my good day, on my worst day, on my mediocre day. I'm going to seek God's face. I'm going to continue to hunger and thirst the righteousness so I can be filled. I want the righteousness of Christ on the inside of me. That's why I want Christ Jesus on the inside of me every day. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hey, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's go back to Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. Mm. Hallelujah. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. I want Christ to be living in me. Hallelujah. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. See, even though I'm living in my flesh, I'm living by the faith of the Son of God who loves me. He still loved me. He ain't gave up on me. He ain't threw me away. Even in my worst time, he got his arm open. He's telling you to come back. I'm here for you. All you got to do is repent. Hallelujah. And you're saved. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It is Christ Jesus. I want him on the inside of me every day, all day. Hallelujah. Now, when the Bible tells you to be angry and sin not, that's what you need to do. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Lord, we give you praise, honor, and glory in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hey, thank you. Hallelujah. So to have Christ on the inside of you, 
you want Christ on the inside of you and, and you're seeking Christ so he can be on the inside of you? Hallelujah. You won't sin. Why? Because we seek in the fullness of God on the inside of me. We want Christ Jesus on the inside of us. We want the Holy Ghost and fire on the inside of us. Glory to God. If we're seeking God's face every day, if we're doing our best to stay in his will, If we're doing our best to keep our minds stayed hey, on him, our heart will continue to be right. Hallelujah. Let this mind be you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go on over here to 12 real quick. Romans chapter 12. Hallelujah. Mm. Romans chapter 12, we're going to read verse one, verse 1 and 2. He says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, hey, that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. So you need to present your body as a living sacrifice Holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Verse 2, it says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So we don't want to be conformed to this world. We want to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. If we keep our mind renewed in Christ Jesus, the world won't pull on us so hard. Hallelujah. It won't be so much of a struggle. Hallelujah. You got good, you got evil. Choose ye this day what you're going to do. You got light of Christ and you got hell. Fire and brimstone. Choose what you're going to do. Hallelujah. It's not a hard decision. Hallelujah. Because when you love something, when you love somebody, hallelujah, glory to God is not a hard decision. Glory to your mighty name. Hey, glory. To your mighty name. We thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Now we're going to talk about it. Hey. I want Christ Jesus on the inside of me. That also goes with hmm. keeping your mind in perfect peace, keeping your mind staying on Jesus, meditating on the word of God, meditating on the love of Christ Jesus. Glory to your mighty name. <clears throat> Let's go to Romans 15 and 6. That ye may with one mind, one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify God. One mind and one mouth to glorify God. That means people need to be on one accord. Hallelujah. In the church. Out the church, on the job, off the job. You need to be in one mind. Hallelujah. So we can glorify God. You get on one accord in church. You get on one accord in prayer. Hallelujah. You'll see signs and wonders. You'll see miracles. You'll see the dead raised. You'll see blind eyes open. Glory to God. You'll see the lame the walk. You'll see limbs growing back on people. Hallelujah. You'll, you'll see cancer drop. You'll see sickness and illness gone, every infirmity gone in the name of Jesus Christ. We call Holy Ghost fire down from heaven right now. Hallelujah. Work it out, Lord. Thank you for working it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Mm. 
Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah to your mighty name. So understand something. You want Christ Jesus on the inside of you. So when you're talking and when you're speaking, you don't want the devil to come out of you. You don't want evil communication to come out of you. Hallelujah. Why? Because evil communication corrupt good marriage. Hallelujah. Let, 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 let's go to Corinthians real quick. First Corinthians 15. Hallelujah. In 33, it says this. Be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners. Mm, Lord Jesus. Awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. See, some of us don't have the knowledge to, to live right. Because we ain't some people ain't been taught. So when down when sound doctrine come to you, you think it's something crazy. You can live saved. You don't have to live in sin. You don't have to live in adultery. You don't have to live in fornication. You don't have to live in abomination with homosexuality and bestiality and masturbation and lesbianism. You don't have to. If you love Christ the way you say you love him, you will search these scriptures to get close to him. Lord, I want to understand your word. I want sound doctrine on the inside of me. If you ever have to preach him, if you ever have a witness to somebody, if you ever have to give a testimony to somebody, I want to rightly divide the word of truth. I want Christ Jesus on the inside of me that everybody can see that I am a child of God and I'm not ashamed. You don't go with the flow. You don't go with popularity all the time. You go with what's right. What's right is the truth, the truth of God, the truth in his word. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hey. So remember, in 1 Corinthians 15 and 33, be not deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners. So what he's telling you right here, some people or some conversations you don't need, even need to get into. You don't want to get caught up into evil communication. Even if you ain't saying nothing, you shouldn't be sitting around listening to gossip. Period. Why? Because we want to keep our spirit clean. We want to keep our spirit holy. We want to keep it righteous. If we keep it our spirit holy and righteous, we can keep our mind holy and righteous. And if we keep it our spirit and our mind holy and righteous, we can keep our eye gate holy and righteous, our ear gate holy and righteous, our mouth, our tongue, our speech Holy and righteous. That is the goal. That's why I want the more of Christ Jesus. I want Christ Jesus on the inside of me every day. All day, no matter what I'm going through. No matter how I feel. Lord Jesus Christ, I still love you, Lord. I still want to be with you, Lord. Help me, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to do right even on my worst day. I don't want to get caught up in gossip. I don't want to get caught up in he say, she say. I want the word of God on the inside of me. I want sound doctrine there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to rightly divide the word of truth. Glory to God. I want the Holy Ghost and fire on the inside of me. I want Jesus Christ 
on the inside of me. I want God the Father, hey, on the inside of me. In the name of Jesus Christ, we call Holy Ghost fire down from heaven right now to purify our minds, our hearts, our bodies, our souls, and our spirit. In the name of Jesus, well, let Lord, what's on the inside of me, I want it to be your word. I want your word on the inside of me. I want your spirit, which is the Holy Ghost, on the inside of me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Even when I'm talking to somebody who hates me, I got to show them love. I got to show them Christ. Hallelujah. I'm not going to take it down from what the word, word says. Glory to God. Lord Jesus. So we want to make sure that we got Christ on the inside of us. Hallelujah. Because evil communication corrupts good manner. And if evil communication is corrupting good manner, it's going to start corrupting your heart. How do we know that? Because we know that here in Matthew chapter 15. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's go to uh, Matthew chapter 15, and we're going to start at verse 16. And Jesus said, Are ye also yet without understanding? Are ye also yet without understanding? You got an excuse for everything that you do? You know it goes against the Bible, but you don't have the understanding. So, And if you do have the understanding, you still try to make an excuse. Glory to your mighty name. Let's read that again, and I'm going to read down. Verse 16 in Matthew chapter 15. And Jesus said, Are ye also without understanding? Do not ye understand that whatsoever enter into the mouth goeth into the belly? Hmm and is cast out into the drought. But those things which proceeded out, which proceed out of the mouth cometh from the heart, and they defile, and they defile that man. He said, what's coming out of your mouth? That's what is defiling you. What's coming out of your mouth comes from the heart, and, and they defile a man. So what's coming out of your mouth? Is that the, what's defiling you? Because if you got more of Christ Jesus on the inside of you, glory to God. You don't have to worry about what's in your heart. You know holiness is in your heart. You know righteousness is in your heart. You know the love of Christ is in your heart. He said what, what comes out of you, that's what's in your heart. That's why we want our heart clean. We want it sanctified. We give our heart to you, Lord Jesus. We want the word of God on the inside of us. We want it written in our heart. Oh, my God. Yes, we do. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's read uh, verse 16, and we're going to go down to... Uh, Verse 20, we're going to stop at the end of 20. In Matthew chapter 15, verse 16. And Jesus said, are ye also yet without understanding? Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever is inner in that mouth goeth into the belly and it, and it is cast into the drought? But those things which proceed out of out of the mouth comes forth from the heart, and they defile the man. So whatever coming out of your mouth, if we ain't talking holiness and righteousness, that's what's in your heart. You got people who always think somebody trying to do something to them. Well, they, you know, I, I, they trying to do something. What if they trying to set me up? 
That's because your mind crazy and all. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey, glory to your mighty name. Verse 19. For out of the heart proceeded evil thoughts, murderers, adulterers, fornicators, theft, false witness, blasphemy, blasphemy. These are the things which defile a man. But he eat with unwashed hands defileth not a man. <clears throat> if you read up a little farther, the Pharisees or the Sadducees was mad at somebody because he didn't wash hands. He didn't wash his hands. And Jesus said, what's in your heart coming out of your mouth? It's not what's in you that defiles you. It's what's coming out of you that defiles you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Now, let's talk about, I want Jesus Christ on the inside of me every day. Now let's talk about, hallelujah, let's read in Matthew 15 and 4. For God commanded, saying, honor thy father and mother, and he that curses his father or mother, let him die to death. So he's telling you, you want Christ Jesus on the inside of you every day? Honor your mother. Honor your father. Honor big mama. Honor granddaddy. Honor your auntie, honor your elders uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, hallelujah. You don't want to die to death. There's a lot of folks that say that they're saved and they don't have forgiveness. You have to forgive. I don't care if they don't ever acknowledge what they're doing, but you have to forgive so you can go on with Christ. You haven't forgave your spouse for what happened in your last marriage and you don't go into another marriage and you ain't dealt with the heartache and pain with the stuff that went on in your first marriage. So now you're going to bring it into your second marriage and the same thing's going to happen. I want Christ Jesus on the inside of me every day. That means we got to honor our mother and father. That means we have to forgive Maybe your brother has done something to you. You got to forgive. Maybe your sister, your cousin, maybe your child or your parent. You have to forgive. You don't, you got to forgive unconditionally. That don't mean you go hang out with them. Hallelujah. Especially if you family. You got to be, you got to be civil. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Mm. Let's read verse 5. But ye say, whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, it is a gift by whatsoever thou mightest be, that thou mightest profit by me. Honor not thy father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus have he made the commandment of God not effect by his tradition. So the commandment to love your mother and father, if you don't do it, it'll have no effect on you because you're supposed to have more life when you honor your mother and father. But because you don't honor your mother and father, that commandment is not going to do anything for you. It's just like the other commandment. When he tells you you shouldn't commit adultery and you shouldn't commit fornication and you shouldn't be lusting after your neighbor's wife. I want Christ Jesus on the inside of me every day. Even when my co-workers make me mad, I want Christ Jesus on the inside of me. When my children make me mad, I want Christ Jesus on the inside of me. Whether it's cousins, relatives, 
co-workers, whoever, spouse, I'm going to keep Christ Jesus on the inside of me. I'm going to heaven. Hallelujah. I, by the grace of God, I can assist you. I can give you sound doctrine. I can give you what the knowledge is and righteousness and how are you supposed to live. Hallelujah. Why? Because it's in this Bible, right? Rightly dividing the word of truth. You got too many people with its years. Hallelujah. They don't want to know the truth because they want to live in their sin. Woo, glory to God. Up in church, you want to live in your sin. You've been uh, living with somebody for 20 years. You've been saved for 15, and you still ain't done the right thing. Well, we common law. Show me in the Bible where the, where he where God said common law marriage is good. Hallelujah, glory to God. And a concubine wasn't no common law wife. I don't care what you say. That was back then, not now. Hallelujah. Back then, you got murdered. They killed you. It was a death penalty for you to commit adultery to touch another man's wife. It was a death penalty. If you are in homosexuality, it was a death sentence and rightly should be. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's go on over. Hey, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Let's go back to uh, Galatians chapter 5. Hey, thank you, Lord. 5 and 24. We're going to read uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 24 and 25. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections of lu and lust. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. If we live in the spirit, we want to walk in the spirit. That's why when, te when temptation comes, you are less li likely to fall by, fall to it. You don't want to fall to all every temptation that comes. You don't want to fall to none. That's why I want Christ Jesus on the inside of me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Verse 26, let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You don't want to be envying of one another. You don't want to be jealous of one another. Why? You don't have to worry about it. Why? Because you're too worried about having Jesus Christ on the inside of you every day. I want Jesus Christ on the inside of me every day, all day. I love the Lord. I'll shout it from the rooftop. I'll shout it in the valley. I'll let everybody know that Jesus Christ is my Lord. Hallelujah. There's none before him. There's none after him. There's none over him. Hallelujah. I ain't in no fraternity. Hallelujah. Glory to God, which is straight up witchcraft. You need to understand what you're doing. And even if you did pledge and you didn't know, once you come to Christ, you need to publicly denounce it just like you publicly got into it. Well, we do stuff for the, uh, for the community. There's a lot of organizations that do stuff for the community, but yet they, they are organized crime where they're killing folks and selling drugs and in prostitution and everything else. We got to make sure that the church is right and that the church is strong. My God, who are you accountable to? Your wife can't tell you nothing. Your husband can't tell you nothing. Your mama or your sister, your brother can't tell you nothing. Something is wrong. 
Hallelujah. And if they all telling you the same thing, you need to sit back and think about it. Now, if they're telling you you go going to church and it don't take all that, that's something different. But if you out there running the streets, you commit more sin than they are. And you try to quote a scripture to justify what you do. The devil is a liar. We call Holy Ghost fire down on that spirit of deception right now. You got to want to be saved. You got to want to stay saved. Like we, like we always say, salvation is free, but it's going to cost you something. Sometimes it'll cost you your best friends. And sadly to say, sometimes it'll cost you family members. Sometimes it's going to cost you your mama and daddy. Sometimes it's going to cost you a marriage. But you better understand, you want Christ Jesus on the inside of you, that you can rightly divide the word of truth. Once you rightly divide the word of truth, hey, that's why I want Jesus Christ on the inside of me every day. Every day, I want him on the inside of me. When I'm sleeping, I want him on the inside of me. When I'm corrected and chastising my boys, I still want him on the inside of me. Lord, I want you to lead me and guide me in everything that I'm doing. Even if I got to go get the belt, Lord Jesus, lead and guide me. I want you on the inside of me. When I'm working and I'm driving, Jesus, I want you on the inside of me. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Do you really want Jesus Christ on the inside of you? You can't have Jesus Christ on the inside of you if you're watching porno all day, every day. Well, you know, the Lord know I'm weak. He know that's better than fornicate. No, it ain't. You better stay out of sin. Don't make no excuse. X-rated movies going to send you to hell too. Why? It's getting your flesh uh, kicked up. You're lusting after something demonic. You can't even touch it. And now you're so perverted in your mind, you up here trying to ask your wife to do some crazy stuff, and she telling you no, and you think she don't, oh, you don't love me no more. No, I ain't that crazy, and I ain't doing all that. Hallelujah. You may be married, but it's still some stuff you ain't got no business doing. Lord Jesus, help me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we glorify you today. I want Christ Jesus on the inside of me every day. Even when things ain't going right, I want you on the inside of me. Give me a strategy, Lord. Help me through this storm, Father. I got to remember this too shall pass. Because the last storm, I didn't know if I was coming out, but you pulled me out. And the storm before that, I didn't know if I was going to make it out. And you pulled me out. And before that, I didn't know if I was going to make it out. And you pulled me back. Ten years ago, I didn't know if I was going to make it. And you still pulled me out. Like they always say, he may not be there when you want him. But he is always on time. That is Christ Jesus. I don't have no other Lord. I don't have no other Savior. It is Christ Jesus. It is God the Father. It is the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost in fire. Hallelujah. People always want to tell you it don't take all that. But if you're an athlete and you want to be the best, do your trainer, your coach say it don't take all that? No. They tell you to keep on pushing. They tell you one more. Coach, I ain't got, I, ain't, I don't have another one. Yes, you do. You do one more. He said, okay, give me one more, coach. No, go ahead and do it. I want Jesus Christ on the inside of me every day. And I don't care what it takes. On my worst day, I'm going to praise him and worship. Glory to God. Keep telling people. My mama been gone about a year and a half. And I had to thank the Lord that I had my mama 
for 53 years. Because a lot of people didn't have their mom for 53 years of their life. So don't think of nothing negative. You think of something good. I had my mama for 53 years. And in the last year and a half, me and my boys lived. That's what you meditate on. Stop meditating on negative stuff. Stuff that happened when you was a kid and you thought they was wrong. And they still ain't apologized to you. And you 60 years old still crying about it. I'm going to have Christ Jesus on the inside of me. And I'm going to do it by reading his word every day. I'm going to do it by praying to him every day. I'm going to do it by meditating on him every day. I'm going to pray in the spirit and I'm going to pray in my uh, native tongue. Hallelujah. I'll pray in English, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus Christ. And I'm going to pray in the spirit as well. That is the Holy Ghost in fire. Some people talking about that's the devil's tongue. It ain't the devil's tongue unless you got a devil on the inside of you. If you ain't saved and you trying to speak in another tongue, another, uh, it ain't a heavenly language because it ain't God. Hallelujah. Remember, everything God does, the devil gets it, but he perverts it. He perverts it. So you got to understand that. I preach the message one step higher than sin, which is wickedness. And when you go to Ecclesiastes chapter 8, I, I believe it's in 12, he said a sinner will say, Lord, I don't want to do my sin. Get me out of it. I, I don't want to do it no more. Hallelujah. Mm. But when you get into wickedness, wickedness says, mm, hallelujah, they no longer regard God. Let's go there real quick. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastics. Hey, glory to God. Chapter 8. Hallelujah. Here we go. Here we go. Ecclesiastics chapter 8. Hmm. Verse 12. And we're going to read verse 12 and 13. I, I, listen, one step higher than sin, that's wicked. A sinner going to say, Lord, forgive me. I'm having trouble. I need you to get me out of it. But when you get into wickedness, your mind is a reprobate mind. God has gave you over to vile infection because you, re, you serve the creature more than the creator. And you can go to Romans chapter 1 and read that. But let's do this real quick. Uh, Hallelujah in Ecclesiastes 8 and 12. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him. Listen to verse 13. But it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feared not God. He feared not before God. He don't fear before God. That's why OBGT, they don't fear God anymore. Black Lives Matter, they don't fear God. And some of the organizations that have been around don't, feel, don't fear God. They are not rightly dividing the word of truth. That, that go along with, with the KKK and the the skin hands and American uh, Nazis. You got to rightly divide the word of truth. You don't feel God the way you say. You're not rightly dividing the word of truth. You're over to a reprobate mind. You are being deceived by the devil. Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. I want Christ on the inside of me every day. More than anything. Hallelujah. When I got to cry, I want Jesus on the inside of me. Because we all know there's some pain. Hey, you can be married. You can have your kids. But there's some pain only Jesus going to help you make. Glory to your mighty name. 
I want the more of Christ on the inside. Of me. That is my goal. That is what I live for. No, I want a wife. I want to get married again. I want a family. Yes. Love your wife. Love your husband. Love your children. But it's Christ Jesus. As you love God, as you serve God in return, he will bless your home. He will bless your family. He will bless your children. You put the word of God inside of your children. If they decide to act the nut after they grown, thinking they can do everything, you did your part. I know it's hard to see parents watching their kids going the wrong way. Hallelujah. Now mama saved. Now daddy saved. They're telling their children, don't do that. Don't go that way. Ain't that nothing. And they telling you, oh, daddy used to do it. Mama used to do it. You right. And that's why I'm telling you not to go there. Ain't nothing there but heartache and pain. Ain't nothing there but death. And then they see their children going that way. Woo! And don't nothing hurt their heart more than that. And sometimes you have to step back. Tell them what it is, how you feel, what's down there. But if they go do it, they go do it. It ain't nothing you can do. You keep praying on them. Hallelujah. Keep calling out Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, deliver them. I don't even want my kids experimenting for alcohol and other drugs. I don't want them experimenting in sex with fornication and all this other stuff. Lord, I pray that they are virgins when they get married. I pray that their wives are virgins when they get married. I pray, Father God, that they are equally yoked up, that they love you together, that they serve you together, and they do it with joy and gladness. Hallelujah. Not fighting one another in the home. Hallelujah. Trying to outdo this one. No, that ain't what it's about. I want Christ Jesus on the inside of me every day. I want Christ Jesus in my home every day. I want Christ Jesus in my children every day. Wherever I go, wherever they go, whether we together or not, I want Christ Jesus on the inside of them. Holy Ghost, hallelujah, move in them. Holy Ghost, give them a conscience. Don't let them go that way, Lord. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory. I want Jesus Christ on the inside of me. Hallelujah. Yes, I do. But I'm walking, just going for a walk. I want Jesus Christ on the inside of me. Sometimes walks are good because you can just walk. Sometimes you walk alone. You can just be quiet, talk to the Lord, or just be quiet, let him talk to you. Or you can have your family where y'all can go and have a little family outing, just walking. Sometimes just walking is good. Hallelujah. I'm finna go. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Listen to me. When I grew up, you know what our family time was, even though back then I didn't think it think of it. Uh uh, we got all these car washes around, but back in the day, we washed our own car. The whole family was washing the car. Hallelujah. Uh, we got people doing lawn care and stuff. If if you're a little bit older, you're elderly, and you can't move, you know, something happened that's different. But the whole family used to be out up here in the Midwest, raking leaves, cutting grass, trimming the ends. Bagging the leaves up, bagging the, the grass up. That was really family time. Even though the kids complained most of the time, it was still some family time. Hallelujah. Sometimes family time is just being quiet. Everybody read a book. You don't want to read a book? Be quiet. No TV, no electronics. Listen to what the Lord is telling you. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. I will see you Saturday, glory to God, uh, for our Saturday service at 10 and 6. Um, 
I believe I'm going to cancel my service on July the 13th. I have a wedding to do. And I think it's in the morning at like 10 or 11. I'll give you more updates on that. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I do want to ask you before uh, we leave here, uh, are you saved? Have you given your life to Christ? This is the best time to do it. I don't care if you smoke a joint. I don't care if you got a needle in your arm shooting up heroin or whatever it is. I don't care if you're in the bed of adults. God, Christ Jesus, will deliver you right now. Hey, glory to God. All you got to do is repent and come to Christ. Turn from your wicked ways. When Jesus says, come as you are, he wants you to come as you are, but he does not expect you to stay the same. If you were going to stay the same, why would you come to Jesus? If you, I, I'm asking. You come to Jesus, but you still doing any and everything you want to do. Lord Jesus. Amen. Let's go ahead and I'm going to pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus. For all those who are out there in social media, Lord. We ask that you save them, Lord. They're asking you to be, that they be delivered, that they be saved, Lord. I pray that you come into their heart. Hallelujah, Father. We thank you for delivering them out of every sin, whatever it is that they be delivered right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That they believe in their heart that you died on the cross for them and that you rose on the third day and took the sins of the world away. Lord, we thank you for washing their minds and their hearts and their spirit, Father. Renew the right spirit back into them in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Now listen, if you said that and you were sincere in your, in your prayer, you are saved. Now what I tell you, Ask the Lord to get you to a good church. Lord, I want to go to a church where the prophetic, prophetic is, is moving, doing praise and worship. I want to go somewhere where they move in the gifts of the spirit. Not a program, but moving by the Holy Ghost. Hey, in the name of Jesus Christ. If you want prayer, go to our website. Leave it, uh, uh, a prayer request, hodim.org, or email us at hodim1117 at gmail.com. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Remember, start praying. Well, how long should I pray, preacher? Just start praying. Start off with five minutes, 10 minutes. Well, how long should I read? Start off with five minutes, 10 minutes. Next thing you know, you'll open your Bible. And a whole hour and a half, two hours went by, and then it felt like five minutes. Same thing with prayer. You got to have faith in God's word. Hey, you got to trust in God's word. You got to believe in God's word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Again, Saturday at 10 for our morning service. Hey, glory to God. We thank you for all those who have given, uh, sold into the ministry. We pray to God that you bless them a thousandfold. Hallelujah. And we thank you for all those that like, subscribe, and share. Hallelujah. May the good Lord continue to be with you. Hallelujah. Remember, if you have prayer, we put it on our uh, email and our uh, website. All right, we will see you later. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. All right.